My name is Peter Christensen, and I, and I was I lived here uh, about 18 years, I guess, in East Dorset. But I was born in North Dorset, Vermont. It's just beyond Lake Emerald. There's a, uh, a it, it's a red house on the left-hand side. It was a penny farm, I guess. At that time, they had quite a bit of acreage and stuff. Then we moved down to East Dorset here, and I went to school with Stan, and we uh, had it eight grades, we had five yeah, grades in one room, four grades in one room and four grades in another room. When you graduated from the fourth grade, you went to the other big side, that was five through eight. And we had, uh, in each side, we had about 25 students and uh, two teachers, two, two, usually two female teachers. Once we did have a man teacher in there, but for the most part, we had, yeah, Doc. What was it? I don't know what his first name was, but yeah, and uh, the, well, we, you know, we pretty much things were pretty quiet in those days here in town. There wasn't everybody had their nice two hundred fifty dollar cars. Nobody traveled much except to go from here to to the grocery store down in Wilbur's, or or they had the grocery store up here across the road. No, we had a. We we had some special we had some special people that would be telling little sh short lady. Do you rem uh, they probably remember her name was Ida Leary. She'd always be telling stories and stuff. She lived upstairs and a couple houses up on the left hand side. And uh, you know we had uh, yeah we had a lot of had a lot of nice special people. I remember all that stuff like when the, when the farms were going like uh, up the Frost Farm, Jim Beebe owned that farm and his brother owned the other farm and uh, they they sold that and uh, and they bought a house uh, down, they, they bought a house that had been burned down here in the end of the street. Not quite the end but almost the end. And uh, then they they bought a pre-cut and put on there attached to it. And she was a she was a Sunday school teacher o over here. We always used to go to Sunday school. Oh, and the, the chapel on the left hand side of the the thing, you know. But it was re it really amazing how the you know the pe how nice the people were, and, you know, donating their time and doing different things like Those that. People. Then Jim, when he got done working at the as a farmer, he was the town manager here for a while, and you know he was really good because he was really straight and really, you know. Jim No, Jim uh, Beebe. He owned the Frost Farm there. Yeah, there there was a Jim Lear, and he was he was a character too. He lived up there, uh, you know, on that side street. I don't know what they call that street, but it's right up here on the left. And you drive up, it used to be a, a cemetery. There you go. And down over the bank, that's where Jim lived. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he was he was a character. He's a nice guy, though. He's a. Before we started, you knew Mrs. Parsons. Yeah, she was a she was a sweetheart. I mean, everybody loved her. I think she was. You know, she, she just came up during the summer, but she was nice to everybody. And she had this car. It, actually, it was a Nash car with a manual transmission, and that was Bob didn't have. To, the, her caretaker didn't have to buy a vehicle because he used that, you know, when she wasn't here. And it worked out good. But when she was here, I can remember her stopping at the post office and she was my age, I guess, and she'd get in the car and she'd, you know, she'd step on the gas and the clutch would be right down to the floor and then she'd ease it out. Well, then she came and they decided she should get a newer car. So she got one with automatic transmission. So when she came out of the post office with that thing, and she floorboarded it, it, it took right off with her, you know. But she managed it okay. You know, she did all right, but. She yeah, she. a black Cocker Spaniel, was it? But she had a great big black poodle. Oh, uh, that it was always around there when she was there. That was the kind of dog that if anybody came in the driveway that dog would tackle you. He'd wrap his legs right around you. You felt like, you know, you felt like clubbing him, but Mrs. Parson was there, you know, <laughs> and she loved it.
<clears throat> I guess she, I don't know how long she kept him forever, but you know he's a pretty good sized dog. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thing, things were quite a bit different. Everything was quite a bit different. Money and everything. My father was a carpenter and a house painter, and uh, so he pretty much worked right here in the area. And when I got older, I I worked with him, and then I, you know, I helped him as a kid, and then I went to like Stan. I went to Burn Burton. And uh, and then then after Burn Burton, I uh, started a little business myself, and I, I worked for myself the the rest of the time. Carpenter building business, and uh, then I had I I married my wife uh, be 60 years ago 60 years ago the 25th of this month, and we had three sons, and. Uh, the oldest son lives in uh, uh, Wells over there, and uh, and he's an, uh, he's in the building business, and he's a he, I mean he can do about anything. Actually, all three sons are pretty capable, or a lot more capable than I am of doing anything in that line. But uh, and my second son is lives here, has got a business here in East Dorset, GSK Climate Control, Greg. And my third son. Uh, he travels quite a bit. He uh, does work in all the uh, different stores, but when they had a lockdown, things were kind of quiet. He does maintenance work in all those stores, and uh, we we uh, we didn't get to see the family during uh, the shutdown there. But now we're they're starting to come back. We have them, you know, how the family is. They're all busy, so we're lucky enough to have them come for brunch on Sunday, so we get to see the family. And I don't go to church anymore. That's my church when my family comes and I get to talk with them and see what they're doing. But uh, things are, for the most part, are pretty good. I, I guess I wouldn't want to live any place else except right here in Vermont. But we used to, we used to have a little railroad station right over there, and and uh, had a local guy do it. it was uh, Ed Larry. He just one man thing, and the train when the train came through, I liked that myself. But and my grandparents lived right by the church, right there, in that house, right there. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, my uh, my wife is still employed with her, with my second son down here, and and of course when that came through and they got shut down like everybody else, so she moved her office from the business there to our home and she had her office there but it worked out good I mean they put transferred the telephone and everything and so you know she could take all the calls and but I think she was probably glad to get back up there they they have a lot of activity they got like 22 employees and there's always something good happening it's never a dull day <laughs> but, but I think she likes to be quiet when she does get home they, they really got a relationship uh, a special relationship always anyways but uh, it's really nice <laughs> so, uh...